it does look like reinfection is possible. Um, I don't think we fully understand why that is and, and why immunity has not developed after natural infection. Um, it does look like it's a, absolutely a minority of people. Um, it does look like we uh, induce good antibodies in the vast majority of people who get infected, but not all. The glass half full side of the story is that these uh, variants seem to only be escaping immunity partially. And even in these studies where we're seeing evidence of reinfection, uh, the rates of symptomatic and severe infection are essentially non-existent. Previous infection does not give you a free pass that you're not going to get infected again. There's the rate of reinfection is considerably more than an anecdotal occurrence. There is already a clear description of one case of infection. There are many anecdotal cases of infection. Uh, but we have not yet been able to define how frequent this is happening. Our vaccine-induced immunity, um, at least where we have the most data from the, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, really consistently induce very high levels of antibody and, and also good T cell responses in the vast majority of people who get vaccinated. So I do think there's evidence, at least for those two vaccines, of inducing perhaps better immunity than natural infection, at least at the population level.